Tonight on Market Call, we have David Burroughs, president of Barometer Capital Management, and he's taking your calls and emails on North American large caps. Hello and welcome to Market Call tonight. I'm Mark Bunting. Thanks a lot for joining us, as always. Uh, and also, as always, you can call us toll free if you want to talk to David and have a question for him. 1-855-326-6266. There's a number there. Market Call at bnn.ca. That's another way to get them uh, through email or get us. Uh, or you can tweet us at Market Call. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, too. So we're into earnings season now, and we've had some significant earnings warnings already. Cummins, the uh, engine maker today, AMD yesterday, Applied Materials as well. Uh, what do you make of things so far? Well, uh, Mark, we've been concerned about a slowing economic condition now for a few months. Uh, and it's interesting because when you look at the economic surprises that have been coming over the last three months, in general, they've been coming in under expectation. And there's many who think that this is all discounted in. I think largely people have spent a lot of time thinking about Europe and the potential negative impacts there. Uh, but when you look at the market reaction to pre-announcements, it tells you that this is not priced in the market. Uh, if, if you believe that negative pre-announcements are already priced in, that when typically then when the pre-announcement comes, stock should probably be neutral to up. Right, AMD wouldn't have been down 11% today. Right, and, and what you're seeing is that as companies are pre-announcing, the stocks are really getting hit. Now, when you look at the three groups with the biggest expectations for the second half of the year, materials, industrials, and energy, uh, when companies are pre-announcing here, they're missing. So materials sector is supposed to ha or grow its earnings 34% in the second half of the year. It's not looking that way when you've got people like, like Kat and Cummins saying that things aren't quite as good as expected. So uh, I think that uh, it's going to be very important to watch the earnings reports through the course of the quarter end. Uh, and more importantly, how the market reacts. My guess is that when people say the market's cheap at 12 times earnings, probably the estimates have to come down. And, and I think that we may have, you know, a, a little more bumpy ride through the summer. Is there some com complacency here? And, and, does it, uh, and if so, does it surprise you? Well, you know, the market and market participants have become familiar with policy intervention and almost addicted to it. Well, it's okay hmm. because they're gonna come with some stimulus or they're gonna come with some kind of policy intervention. But what you can see when you look at it, in fact, each policy intervention that's come has had a, a smaller and smaller duration effect. So each successive policy intervention has had less impact. And of course, you had the moves that took place in the ECB at the end of June. We got two, three days out of it. So uh, I think that there is complacency I think that there is complacency and, and that, oh, well, we'll see QE or we'll see some other, some other uh, policy move. Uh, but realistically, uh, taking interest rates from 1% to a half of 1% or a half of 1% to a quarter of a percent has limited impact. There's been trillions of dollars of stimulus put into the system over the last two years, yet we've had the lowest trajectory recovery basically in 100 years. And just as we go to break here, uh, David, uh, in your notes here, you're looking for... Uh uh, significant. Well, you've got a significant cash weight. You're looking for companies with uh, that are defensive, that have uh, yield properties. You're in corporate bonds, uh, equities with predictable cash flows and above average dividend growth. So we'll get more of that theme from David as we go through the show. We'll come right back. We'll start taking uh, calls and emails on North American large caps with David Burroughs.